Right everyone, welcome back to suasnews.com uh, The Shed. Today uh, we're going to be playing around with the new spline waypoint feature of Arducopter firmware version 3.2. I'll show you how to set it up in Mission Planner and we'll go out and fly the mission then. Uh, and also what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to set up uh, the new way of doing region of interest in Arducopter 3.2. In the older code you needed to set every second waypoint to a do set ROI command um, for the region of interest function to keep running throughout the flight plan. It works a bit differently now, I'll show you how that works. Um, and as you can see here we've got mission planner open in the flight plan page. Uh, this will be our end result over here. Um, the smooth flight track around the airfield. Uh, basically spline waypoints allow the aircraft to fly a smooth track um, between waypoints and throughout your flight plan instead of just straight lines. It also helps with smoothing out the altitude changes um, as you go along. This is obviously very useful for aerial video footage uh, to keep the, the footage nice and smooth while you move the aircraft around. Alright so let's get to it. Uh, we'll clear the mission and we'll start off uh, from scratch. So how I usually like to do it is I usually like to launch um, in stabilize, fly it uh, to a holding area just to make sure that all the, the stabilized functions are working. From the holding area I put it into GPS loiter and again just to make sure that function is working before putting it into automatic flight and we'll at the first waypoint I always put in about a 10 second delay, 5 or 10 second delay uh, just to make sure that automatic is working properly before we send the aircraft off on a mission. Alright, so let's start setting up a normal flight plan, normal circuit as we would have normally around the um, airfield and we'll straighten all that out just now. Alright, so let's make that nice neatly at the end. Make nice nice wide circuit with nice square lines okay all right and um, how you'd normally set up do set ROI uh, the region of interest function you'd have to set it up every alternate waypoint as I previously mentioned in the older code uh, all you have to do now to activate um, the region of interest function and keep it going throughout the flight plan is you just select one waypoint um, from where you want to start to do set ROI over here as you can see alright we'll set the target altitude at 40 meters as my aircraft uh, the gimbal camera setup I have on my aircraft is not controlled by Pixhawk so the altitude doesn't really matter um, as it'll just keep the whole aircraft pointed at the region of interest marker you can see it's generated the region of interest marker here in red um, I'll just move that to around here to around there and throughout the flight plan the aircraft will maintain looking at um, the do set ROI the region of interest point and um, without any further functions needing to be added alright and how you deactivate it now in the newer code is say we want the aircraft from waypoint 1 through to waypoint 6 we want the aircraft to focus on the region of interest you set it up as I have now and then if you wanted to stop after waypoint 6 you just basically select do set ROI again and make sure all the f all the numbers there in the parameters next to it is set to 0 then from waypoint 6 to 8 as you can see 7 becomes a command from 6 to 8 after 6 it basically stops the the function from running. Alright, we'll just set that back to a normal waypoint as we want in this case the do set ROI or the region of interest function to keep working throughout the flight plan. Okay, so here we've got a normal circuit planned, uh, all the square lines, straight lines between waypoints and how you set up spline waypoints is you just change uh, the waypoint from waypoint to spline waypoint as you can see it's just blurred in mission planner on the drop up box um, and as you see as I keep selecting spline waypoint you'll see the tracks smoothen out um, on the map screen there. Let's 
line wave points as you can see we will make that one a spline wave point as well and then we'll from here to here we'll just change the last command to a return to launch function all right so as you can see it's smoothed out our flight track around the circuit here and from waypoint one the aircraft will focus on the region of interest red mark over here and they'll keep focusing on that waypoint throughout this smoothed out track until we get back here and from here it will activate return to launch as you can see there at the end and uh, we'll take over the aircraft again once it's come into a stable hover about 10 meters above ground and we'll land it in, uh, in some of the all right so yeah that's uh, as easy as that uh, if you have any questions of how to set that up uh, just drop a comment